Welcome back to the channel, my name is Abon, welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stawa Bucharest. Surprise Wednesday video because I've got something a little bit different planned for tomorrow's video for Thursday. So uh, we're going to do Wednesday and then um, the usual Sunday upload. Uh, but today we are taking on Concordia Kiajna away from home, they were promoted from the second division. Hopefully today we can get another good result so far with both of our games on camera this season. Let's try and make it a hat trick. And if you're enjoying this series, do drop a like down below and leave comments. It's the best way to support and help the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications as we're on the road to a thousand subscribers. So last episode, we defeated UT8 around one goal to nil, ending their unbeaten run in the league. Uh, left it late, 93rd minute goal after, you know, a, a couple of good chances to score in the first half. But we got the late goal through Stupar. We got the win. We ended their unbeaten start. And uh, yeah... Really, really good start of the season so far. Off camera, we played a few more games, uh, including a couple of cup games as well. So we'll go through all of those. Um, the first match was a 3-1 home win against Polytechnica Yashi. And Nezovic managed to get himself a hat-trick in this one. Scored three goals, the third of which was a penalty. Uh, and yeah, just a dominant performance by us. Um, you know, the XG was about right. We dominated the possession, had more chances and shots than them. Deserved a win. Yeah, as I said, Nezovic got a hat-trick. He got the first two within 27 minutes. Two goals within about seven or eight minutes of each other. Uh, to give us a 2-0 lead. Early in the second half, Yashi did pull a goal back. Shivaina with that goal. It was about three minutes into the second half. And then just after the hour, we won a penalty. And Nezovic managed to convert it for his hat-trick to give us that 3-1 win. Um, a good win and a deserved win. Then we came up against Cluj away from home and just had a really weak performance here. Um, just not nearly as good as we've been playing and a disappointing performance. We lost 2-0 and both of Cluj's goals came late in either half and they both came from De Bellier as well. There's a goal in the last minute of the first half to make it 1-0 and then five minutes from time in the second half it was 2-0 with the same goal scorer. Uh, yeah, just a poor performance here. Um, we didn't win the possession game. We didn't have nearly enough shots or chances. Uh, we could have got a goal maybe, but... Uh, yeah, just not a good performance. Didn't defend well, didn't control midfield, didn't create enough chances. It just wasn't a good day. Then we had three weeks without a game. The scheduling is really, really strange this season. I don't know why, because there was such a short pre-season and yet you've got these two-week and three-week breaks in between games and I don't really know why. Uh, it's just really, really weird how they've uh, stretched out the season. But anyway, it was back-to-back -back defeats, unfortunately. After that Cluj defeat, we then lost 2-0 again, this time away against Astra Georgiou. And much like last season, we're doing well at home, but the away games, you know, sometimes we are struggling, like this game. This one, um, again, it was 2-0. Uh, Georgia with a goal for Astra in the fifth minute. Uh, and then it was a goal early in the second half. Jugar with that, again, about three minutes into the second half. Uh, we had more shots and chances in this one, but they weren't as big. Like, XG was less than one. I don't think they expected us to score. Um, just didn't do enough in possession. So, yeah, unfortunately, it was a, a pair of back-to-back um, 2-0 -back losses. Not particularly good. Then we went into our first game in the Romanian Cup, and we drew Dinamo. We had another Red Terminal derby in the Cup. Um, we had one of these back in, I think it was Season 2, uh, which Dinamo won 5-1. That was our first game against them in the Cup. Uh, and we've drawn them again here in Round 5. We managed to win this one two goals to nil. Uh, it was a close game. Um, Dinamo with, you know, a couple of little chances, I think. But we managed to win 2-0. Nezovic with the first goal on 41 minutes. Uh, and then it was Daniel Toma with the second goal. That was on 73 minutes. So, yeah, a bit more clinical we were. Didn't have as many shots as them. But um, we controlled the ball a bit better and got those two goals. Uh, before our round six tie, we had um, our last league game. This was a 3-1 win at home against uh, FC Argus, who were uh, promoted from the second division as winners. Um, much, much better performance here. Three goals to one. Uh, and, yeah, we were firing away the better team here. Argus had one goal. But, yeah, much, much better performance by us. Defended well. Decent midfield job and three goals. Uh, the first of which came from Manalake, who got himself a free kick and scored it. That was on 14 minutes to give us a 1-0 lead. Uh, not long after that, we made it 2-0. Ishma Hill with his first goal for the club, playing as a right winger, um, because Ispas is up front. He made it 2-0. Argus did uh, get a goal back on 24 minutes. Toure with that, uh, and then 40 minutes, we scored our third. Daniel Timer with um, a goal in back-to-back -back games. 
that was half time. No more highlights really in the second half. There wasn't much to talk about, but a good first half performance and a 3-1 win. And then our final game off camera was our sixth round tie in the Romanian Cup. We drew uh, you Croyova away from home. It's not University Tatia Croyova. It's the other one that um, I think think was the one that was refounded uh, it, it's a it's a similar situation to stour and fcsb is that one of them thinks they have the honors and the history but the other one thinks they have it it's a, it's a very similar story uh, but this one was a one nil win away from home for us uh, stupar got the only goal on 61 minutes to give us the win uh again it was a it was i think we edged it um quite over not a lot of possession few shots but i think we were slightly better and deserved the win here almost 60 percent possession an xg of one and steve Park got the goal so again we had like a really long time without a game we faced quarry over on the 6th of november we're now in december so we had like almost a month with no matches i've had to put a couple of intra squad friendlies in there just to try and keep that fitness up i don't understand why there's so many big gaps especially when our pre-season was so short. Because literally, at the end of last season, we played our last game. They went through all the playoffs and that. And after the, the, the final playoff game, it was like one day. And then the following day, everyone was back in training. So there was no holiday for them. There was like no break apart from waiting for the season to end. And then there wasn't really much of a pre-season either because the league starts in the middle of July. I feel like they can start it a bit later if we're going to have these periods of like two to three weeks of no football. You look between FCSB and Quay over there, there's two weeks. You've got 12 days between there. And then we've got the winter break as well. We face Herman Stout on the 18th of December. We've got a month and then we face Gajmat Ambidiash. I feel like the season can start a lot later and it gives you a lot more time for pre-season and a bigger break for your players. But anyway, um, we're doing a great job. We've lost a couple more games, but they were away games and they were difficult ones. So I think that's to be expected. But currently, after 11 games, we sit in fifth place uh, with 21 points, with three behind Vitarol with a game in hand. So we win this one. We could go level on points with the leaders, which would be really great. I don't know how long we can keep this up, if it will go the whole season. But as it stands, after 11 games, we're about a third of the way through. We could be on course for that top six which is going to be a tall order, but we'll certainly give it a shot. The board have finally decided to give us a bit more transfer budget. So we do have over 600,000 in our transfer bill now and a bit of wage budget in there as well, which we can move around if we want. I could move that into the scouting budget, but what I think I'm going to do is when we get to the January window, I am going to try and buy some young homegrown players that can go into the team. Because as I said last episode, we've only got a couple of players really that can start every game for us um, in terms of the homegrown players. We have added one new player. His name is Ilya Nikolic. He's 18. He's a free agent, but we can't register him just yet. Um, he's got a big future. He's five-star potential, currently two stars. Uh, his heading at 11 is okay, but he's six foot four with 18 jumping reach, and he's aggressive and brave. I think that has the foundations for a really good central defender. And if those technical attributes can increase over time, we could have a really good player on our hands. So I'm excited to see how this guy develops. I'm not sure whether they're loaning him out yet or keep him here for a bit. But yeah, he looks like he could be good. He's got no flair or leadership or vision. I don't think he has eyes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, looking at the physicals, like 18 jumping reach at 6'4", it's good. And if that heading attribute goes up, then we could have a good central defender. I think that's everything that we need to go through. So let's jump into the match then. Concordia Kiazna are the opponents today, promoted from the second division. Kiazna are actually favourites. I suppose they're away from home. But I think this could go either way. It's going to be a tight one. Okay, we're going to put Greya back in goal. Goran Erez did play in that cup game against uh, uh, Kroyova. So we're going to go grab in goal back for of Radu, Manalake, Sukar and Popov. And Maximovic, Vasilescu and Toma will be the midfield three with Nezovic and Nagoyescu out wide. Each Mahil is going to start up top. So let's see if we can uh, get an away win here. We have struggled for those recently. Okay, the team talk has gone fairly well. It's motivated them a bit. Uh, yeah, away from home. It's going to be a close one, but hopefully we can get an away win here against uh, Kiazna. Uh, we've got a corner kick here, eight minutes in. Ishmael's taken it, and Nezovic with a header just wide. Decent chance there to make it one. Going to send it up to positive, just because we haven't had a single shot from Kiazna yet. We've got lots of possession, so we're going to keep it going. Let's go a bit shorter with the goal kicks, I think. That defensive line will keep it high. Tome has picked up a bit of a knock, but he seems okay. Nezovic also starting to get a bit wary. Half time, not much to talk about there. There was only one highlight in both sides with just one shot on target. 
So we need a better second half, really. Kjaznova made a half-time sub. We'll keep with that same team. Nezovic starting to struggle a little bit. Here's Maksimovic. Could be an early goal here in the second half. It's Nezovic. And he does find the goal 20 seconds into the second half. And we do have a goal. And uh, it is 1-0. And that didn't take too long in that second half. 20 seconds. Nezovic squeezes it in from that tight angle. He, he likes shooting from those tight angles. It doesn't always pay off. But sometimes you do get that moment where it does end up in the net. And a great like chip for Maksimovic up the pitch to Nezovic. And he slides it uh, to the keeper's right between him and the post to make it 1-0. Here's Rafalia for Kjajna. We're straight after that goal here. Early in the second half, there may be another goal or another chance here. Skirbeck and Popov has done well there. Grayab uh, plays it short to Radu and eventually goes long. Nogoyescu doesn't win the battle in the air, but it falls to Popov. Here's Sukar to Toma. Maksimovic got space to run into here. And he sent through Ishmael. Is he going to get a second goal here? No, he can't. Only the one goal so far for our uh, Nigerian striker. Need to see a bit more from him. Okay, Nezovic is starting to struggle a bit out there now. So we're going to bring him off for Stupar, who's been good, just as good, if you ask me, Stupar, so far this season. Okay, 15 minutes or so left. We're dominating the game so far. Kajnu have only had one shot on target. Uh, 81 minutes gone. Going to bring off Negoescu for... Uh, I'm going to move Ishmael out wide and we're going to put on Jonat Sispas. Put it back to balance. Five minutes to go. We've got a free kick here. I think Stupa will be on this. No, it's Radu. I don't think we know who our best free kick taker is because we've had so many different takers. That's gone wide by Jonat Radu. Andre Radu. Sorry, it's not Jonat Radu. I think I've just made a player up. Uh, one more change. Uh, let's just get an extra man in defence. Bolenyi is going to replace Vasilescu. He's under 22, so he's, it's got to be him really. Two minutes of normal time left. Still only 1-0. We're playing a dangerous game here. And we're in danger of dropping points and maybe drawing our first match of the season. Here's Skubek. Maksimovic does well there. Very good tackle. And now it's Ispas and Ismail coming forward here. This could be the chance. And Stupar's in so much space. Surely he's got to score this. And he does. It's 2-0 with two minutes left of the 90. And that is hopefully game over now. Stupar in tons of space. And uh, yeah, Ismail does well to provide the goal. Hasn't scored today, but been a very good performance by the Nigerian. And yeah, the counter-attack works well. It was three versus two, pretty much. We couldn't have messed that up. No way. Into the last minute. Any goal for Kiasha now will be a consolation, but we'll see how the last minute pans out. Here's Rafalia, and it's a good block by Sukar. It's Urobescu, and again, it's well defended. Radu clears it. Um, Oh, we've had a handball go in our direction. I saw handball and I panicked that we'd given away a penalty there. Uh, last seconds of the match. Just need to keep the ball now and confirm that clean sheet. And there we go. It's a 2-0 win away from home. A good performance there. Um, took a little bit to get going. It's a pretty dull first half, but very good defensive performance. Ismail didn't score, but had a good performance. Um, Stupart off the bench gets his goal. Uh, Nezovic getting a goal as well. You see, Ismail didn't score, but he set a goal up. Five key passes. And created a chance and a couple of shots on target. He had a good game. Just didn't score. So that does put us uh, level on points with the leaders. We only trail FCSB by goal difference. And we are level with Vitor, who we've yet to face this season. But after head-to-head, -head, uh, we will hopefully be ahead of them. But yeah, things are going very, very well. We haven't drawn a game yet this season. In 12 games, we have won eight and lost four. Zero draws. And FCSB, with the same record, uh, they've just scored a few more goals than us. And conceded one less. So we do have um, just a couple of games before that winter break that I mentioned. I'm going to have no matches for four weeks. I'll try and squeeze a couple of friendlies in there if we can. I think we'll come back for FCSB. I think we'll have one of those games against FCSB. Uh, we've only faced them on camera once so far. Uh, and we managed to beat them last season. Didn't get that on camera. So we've got them at home. Let's see if we can win that. And also it will be well into January. So we'll see if there's any transfers on the on the. Uh, on the up as well like i said we've got a bit more money in our budget now so we could probably actually buy one or two players and like i said i'm going to try and focus on some uh young homegrown players so that we can um you know meet that quota a bit easier but that is going to do it for today's video thank you for watching if you enjoyed it then do drop a like down below and leave comments it's the best way to support and help the channel and if you haven't done so already or if you're new then do subscribe and turn on notifications uh we're on the road to a thousand subs but a good win today against kiajna a pretty controlling performance we did well and uh, yeah, keeping that good start going. We're about a third away through the season. 
12 games and we are looking really really good still no draws though and we'll try and keep that run going off camera as we approach the halfway mark but for now thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon goodbye